I am Mina Vaz. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I am very glad to be here with some amazing part uh, participants and the presenters. I have five-minute goal. My five-minute goal is to give you five things that can move us to human-centric AI. That means I am not going to talk to you about tools, technology, AI itself, or processes. I only want to talk to you about an approach you can take for artificial intelligence. Why am I talking to you? Where is my work coming in here? So I am the CEO of an organization called Namaste Data, which is about data and AI equity. This is, these bubbles are my universe. The one in the blue is my why. I talk about data with inclusion and access. And the pink ones are how I do it. On the left-hand side, for access purposes, I have images. There's my consulting practice, Namaste Data. I do workshops on these topics called Data is for Everyone, which is my school. And when I'm not doing any of those, I'm probably being nerdy on any of the platforms like right now with you all writing and talking about it. We all know AI is already used in our daily lives. Joel talked about it. We are using it. If you have, I don't know if you know about this small company called Netflix, which allows you to eat your food, which can be done in 20 minutes to you can elongate it for two hours. You basically binge watch stuff. That's using AI, right? What's the problem? Human-centered AI or human-centric AI is really what I like to call is designing and using AI in a way that's intentional, purpose-driven, centering communities throughout the AI life cycle. We cannot talk about using AI responsibly at the end or when the technology or the product is already in the market. We have to talk it right from the start to the end. And this is one of my goals in my work and today. So let, let's see a hypothetical example of what's the problem. Say there is a nonprofit called Greenbox, right? That's an environmental conservation uh, organization, and they implemented an AI solution to optimize their fundraising efforts. Their goal is to analyze their donors and predict who is most likely to donate. What are the possible problems that can arise, like algorithmic behaviors? AI can start prioritizing the wealthy donors. That's one. Fundraisers can start focusing on just selecting one or two or three very specific data points, missing out on other data points. Or donors can start questioning the nonprofit about Greenbox's use of AI. What I'm trying to get here is issue when it's not human centric is we are talking about trust and transparency and accountability. How do we ensure that? What can we do? So I'm going to give you five things here. When you are thinking about AI in your organization, I want you to first start listening to your community. Why are you bringing that AI solution? What's the purpose right there? So Greenbox is bringing because they want to improve their fundraising efforts, okay? Centering your why in the repurpose. So now that you got AI, so Greenbox got it, now what? What are they going to solve in terms of the time saved for the researchers or for the fundraisers? How is that time going to be repurposed? that's going to put some intentionality right in there, right? I want you to think about creating inclusive spaces. When we are thinking of centering our communities in our AI solutions, we have to think about building inclusive and spaces where we feel belong because we need diverse data sets. We need diverse voices when it comes to, and I'm not talking about just the racial diversity, I'm talking about overall diversity that impacts not just how you're collecting data, but throughout the life cycle, all the way up to what are you going to do with that analysis or predictions or outcomes um, in your strategies, right? Then I want you to think about your governance and evaluation. How is this AI helping you? How are you doing what you are doing? How is it supporting you in your work? Really measuring that why. And then most importantly, and probably my favorite, understanding the data. This is non-negotiable for you to really mess your time in what you do with your data and how, where is it coming from? Whose voice is it centering, right? If we do these five things, probably consistently, we are trying our best to center humans in when we're talking about AI. When it comes to, and if I have to give you one question from this five minute session, super quick session, is I want you to ask yourself, what kind of future do you want to live in? How can you build individual accountability and collective power when it comes to it. That's the continuity.